Hi everyone, I'm Michael. And I'm Patrick, and you're watching another episode of Star Wars News and Views. Today we have exciting news. Uh, we have new stills from Entertainment Weekly from behind the scenes of Rogue One. Uh, and what we get to see is kind of like stills of some of the characters, higher quality uh, images and everything, all from Entertainment Weekly. Um, the first thing that we see is a like, really big and awesome picture of a Death Trooper with a big explosion happening behind them in the full black outfit. It looks pretty badass, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're really showing off those Death Troopers. I mean, yeah. you'd think maybe they'd want to hide a lot of the new designs, but they're, they're pretty much... Here it is. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping they're going to be like an elite unit that are going to be kind of really hard for the uh, the rebels to fight in yeah, this movie. That's the report anyway. Actually, I think that's uh, officially in the description of oh, them. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> um, we also have an image of Donnie Yen's character named Chirrut. He, uh, you know, obviously still looks blind. His eyes are kind of like glazed, uh, mm -hmm. and he's got a staff. And there's just like resistance troopers behind him. Uh, I think what looks like the beach planet or something. You see kind of palm trees. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, it's like kind of leafy. Yeah. Who knows? We also have Daigo Luna's character, Cassian, uh, who's surrounded by rebels as well, and he's also in this beach area, so I'm guessing these are all kind of shots from similar scenes where they get to this beach sort yeah. of setting, which we're not really sure too much about yet, but we've seen a couple things in the in the teaser trailer about it. Yeah, actually, if you think about it, there's like really four main set pieces that they've shown. There's yeah. the rebel hangar, mm -hmm. the Death Star. Yeah. Uh, the beach planet yeah. and uh, the village. Yeah, where we see every Donnie single Yen's yeah character. every single photo we've or shot in the trailer has been from those four locations. Yeah, so maybe they haven't even just filmed in other places yet, or yeah. yeah. Well, I mean that goes. Well, I guess it's done. But yeah, well, I mean that goes along with the idea that this is going to be a smaller, more contained. Maybe there's you know the Force Awakens is like every fifteen minutes is new locations. Yeah, that's right? true. <laughs> uh, there's also a really cool shot of uh, Jang Wen's character of Bay's. Malbus, um, and he's uh, firing uh, in front of a crashed uh, X-wing, mm -hmm. and actually, uh, this looks like it's in that sort of village set. Yeah. And if you look in some of the trailer shots and some of the still shots of Donnie Yen's fight with the stormtroopers, mm -hmm. in the background is a crashed uh, X-wing. Yeah. And at first, I thought maybe that was just sort of background dressing. You know, it's like a lot of junk left over and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but maybe now it's. It actually crashes within the scene, and there's this big yeah. And so Malbus comes out. Maybe yeah. he's on his way to like rescue or find uh, yeah. Donnie Yen's character. Or the other thing is that it is just a piece of junk laying there, and he's taking cover fire in front of it. Yeah, that makes sense too. Could could be that. Yeah. And then you see uh, uh, Diego Luna playing Cassius with uh, Jyn Erso's character in the Rebel hangar. Nothing too special there. Uh, finally, we see a really cool behind the scenes shot of uh, looks like uh, rebels doing a sort of beach landing on that uh, beach planet and there's the, the, the helicopter is not part of the movie yeah. the, the circular thing on the front of the nose that's uh, that's a camera rig so you're gonna get a nice aerial shot sweeping over them as they're storming the beach yeah. which will be a really cool moment like D-Day yeah it basically and yeah. then that ties into the shots in the trailers of them running and they're trying to dodge uh, Imperial Walker fire and yeah. stuff like that so that seems to be a really major set piece yeah it seems like a lot like they're gonna do this sort of World War II sort of gritty like army yeah. fight scene going on well that ties into the second batch of photos that Entertainment uh, Weekly released only a few days later uh, I believe it was June 28th or something like that yep. not too long ago um, so we'll get into that now. So speaking of the beach landing scene, we get this really beautiful, almost like surreal shot of mm. uh, a rows of st well, a row of stormtroopers uh, w like wading through the shore. Yeah. I guess chasing the after the rebels and stuff like that. And it's just like I don't know if that's like just like a behind the scenes shot of the actors just kind of standing around, or if that's like uh, you know the still photographer shot of a take in progress but mm. looks really really cool like I don't know we've just never seen an image like that yeah it's like stormtroopers at the beach yeah <laughs> <laughs> but, but it looks really really nice shot mm. uh, we also see another one of Felicity Jones or you know Jenner said which not like anything new I guess in that one it looks a lot like the shot from the it teaser. is the shot from the trailer yeah. but this is uh, uh, it's not the trailer video shot it's actually a still photo and it's much more higher quality yeah and it's from a slightly different angle because you know the photographer has to stand beside the camera yeah. so it's slightly, <laughs> slightly offset different. Different. yeah and we also get to see uh an image of k2so who is voiced by alan tudyk um and it's just you like you may know from firefly yeah yeah uh and it's just like it's just 
the full robot, like kind of just standing there. There's nothing really yeah. else other than just sort of this design of him, which looks really cool. Well, we haven't really got a good look at him in the trailers and stuff. Looks like it's the computer rig, the yeah. CG rig, just kind of posed there. Yeah, and in case you don't know, he's supposed to sort of be like a amalgamation of like Chewie and C-3PO, where he's going to be kind of like, you know, a tough uh, android that helps them out, but is kind of like, you know, still lovable, I guess, or they still like him a lot, and he's yeah. kind of friendly towards the characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I guess that's it. You guys may have seen this already. I we just thought we'd you know show you if you missed it because some of this stuff is really cool. Yeah. It's really interesting to see uh, Rogue One finally you know coming together. Mm -hmm. And actually, now that I think about it, at this point in the lead up to Force Awakens, we had had a little bit more of like teasers, but not that much behind the scenes shots other than the Vanity Fair thing. Yeah. And that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I guess at this point, though, after releasing all this information, we might see another trailer coming out kind of soon. Yep. Maybe right after they're done those reshoots, oh. maybe even a bit before. Maybe Celebration yeah. happening next week. Yeah, I think it's go. next week. Is yeah. it July 17th or something like that? So maybe a week or two, yeah. Yeah. Well, they said they're going to have a Rogue One panel there, so I eh, wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. I also wouldn't be surprised if we saw the trailer for Episode Eight or teaser maybe attached to Rogue One when it comes out yeah yeah that'll be still a year ahead but I guess you know yeah. it's done it'll be done shooting soon done shooting soon yeah pay uh, attention to that episode <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll have an episode on that yeah. so uh, cool yeah leave your thoughts and opinions on uh, any of these images what you think they may imply or mean um, the one thing they didn't show anything about Forrest Whitaker's character or um, Orson Krennic mm -hmm. um I don't know. We've only I don't. Had I wouldn't. Profiles, but yeah. no extra images. I wouldn't read too much into that. I think it's just like these are the images they decided on. Mm -hmm. I think they do want to leave a little bit more mystery about those two characters. Yeah, those two specifically, I think, are supposed to have like kind of mysterious. Yeah, Forrest Whitaker is supposed to be kind of gray, ambiguous, and uh, Orson Krennic is that his name? Yeah, Orson Krennic. He's like the you know the main antagonist. Yeah. So of course, they I think they want to keep him skin. mysterious. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next episode. Thank you.